This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. Port Pirie, South Australia, was the location where religious denominations from around South Australia converged for the 21st Port Pirie Diocesan Assembly and in the process helped to take steps toward a more ecumenical future. Members and religious ministers from the Baptist, Catholic, Uniting, Anglican, Lutheran, and New Life churches came together to worship, celebrate religious diversity, and embrace what unites them at the Building Bridges of Peace event. Bishop Greg O'Kelly of Port Pirie said that the event coincided with the 500th anniversary of the Reformation and was an appropriate time to convene to discuss religious matters and focus on how far the church had come. What unites us is much more than what divides us, Bishop O'Kelly said. The splitting of the church was followed by a lot of hatred and war and slaughter and persecution and dreadful mayhem, the wars of religion which split the church in, and Europe, and 500 years later, we've come a long way. The event saw ministers from each religion involved in ecumenical services, and also a panel which discussed the similarities and differences between each of the religious orders. He said that two days of celebrations reflected a terrific spirit among all parishioners and believed that the event could lead to a more positive future. This could be the beginning of something much better, he said. They say ecumenism is easier in the bush. People get to know each other, depend on each other, and it works much better together. To see so many people in the room from Kaduna, Port Lincoln, Streaky Bay, Cooper Petty, the Mid-North, and Riverland churches, it is just fantastic, he continued. He said that events like the Catholic Diocese Assembly would help pave the way for a better future. It just helps consolidate things and lead to new beginnings, he said. Ecumenism is not about one church succumbing or surrendering to another. We're not all going to come back and be Catholic again. The ecumenical movement inspired by Vatican II has muted the voice of Protestants to the false doctrines and practices of Rome. Previously persecuting Rome is now a friend. They now seek to unite, but probably have no idea where it will lead. Though this is about the ecumenical unity of some of the churches in South Australia, the underlying principle will lead to similar results as in America, persecution of those who do not follow the New World Order religion. When the leading churches, uniting upon such points of doctrine as are held by them in common, shall influence the state to enforce their decrees and sustain their institutions, then Protestant America will have formed an image of the Roman hierarchy, and the infliction of civil penalties upon dissenters will inevitably result. The Great Controversy, page 445. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.